Hi guys, and welcome back to our Inside Success Stories. And today I am with Richard Blackwood. How are you doing today? I'm fine, how are you? I'm great, thank you for asking. How are you feeling for the show? Yeah, I'm all right. I, I, don't, I don't really, um, I'm never really excited at shows. I kind of get excited once they call my name and I go on. <laughs> but prior to the show, it makes it seem like I don't even want to be here because I'm very just kind of chilled. That's yeah. just always been my way. You'll get, yeah, be. you'll get used to me. But when I go on stage, then yeah. kinda, Richard kind of comes alive. He comes alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Richard, um, we're here for the youth magazine, Inside mm -hmm. Success. Yeah. We're a youth enterprise that helps young adults out age 16 to 24, around that bracket. There's a lot of inspiring adults that we're trying to help get into the industries they're getting into. And of course, you are very prominent in the UK acting industry. Thank you, thank you. I mean, yeah, that means a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my thing. Yeah, so what would the first thing I'll say is your first piece of advice for the young people watching to get into the acting industry? Know that it's really what you want to do. Right, I, you know, it's it's because it's um, it looks amazing from the outside, you know, but the work that it takes to get in and then to remain is extensive. It's not a it's not a walk in the park. Um, so, but I say it to say that all the rejections you will get, all the the sad moments you get, is what conditions you for this industry. Mm -hmm. So I embrace it would be my advice like you know you, there is there is only a limited few that's had the one audition and they just skyrocket do you know what i mean but the masses normally have to go you know taste both edges of the sword and you know it, it, it's a tough process but it's it's needed mm -hmm. so that's what i would say okay so for the people watching who mm -hmm. don't know who you are who don't know who he is are you living under a rock yeah that's pretty <laughs> true yeah <laughs> <laughs> um what just give us a bit of background about your journey in acting in general and everything else uh, alongside all the well i started um next year will be my 30th year so i started <gasps> 29 years ago gosh um, no you look about 30 that's what i'm right well i mean i'm gonna let you give me that on camera <laughs> Right, but no, I'm, I'm 50 now. I started when I was 21. Of course. Right, so um, hence why I say the journey is, is not, you know, not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> um, because, you know, I became successful quite early on. I started in 93 and by the time I was 21, by the time I was 23, I'd done my first TV appearance, which was The Real McCoy. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, a, I guess, a domino effect. I was doing shows that were around at that time that people wouldn't be um, privy to now, which is blouse and skirts, things like that. Um, and then I really got my first Royal TV break it, uh, when Channel 5 started um, in 1996. Um, I had my own show called Club Class, mm -hmm. which was a stand-up show. And then after that, I had, um, I got MTV, I auditioned for MTV. Uh, they were looking for a new age presenter that could go off script, that could literally, the show was gonna be filmed as uh, uh, like one shot, if that oh, made wow. sense. And it was revolutionary. They ne they'd never done nothing like that at the time. Um, so the show would be half an hour and maybe one segment would take about five minutes. And you had to talk and do links in between that time for the whole five minutes, go to a video and then do another link like that. Um, so they needed somebody who was a stand-up more than a presenter that if it went wrong, they knew how to kind of maneuver around that, blah, blah. Uh, hence me getting the job. So my career really took off from 96 onwards, mm -hmm. really. Um, and then uh, I, I've been blessed to say I've probably done everything. Mm -hmm. um, especially in the presenting world, I Top of the Pops, uh, Smash Hits Awards, MTV Awards. And then I ultimately had my own show on Channel 4, The Richard Blackwell Show, for three seasons. Then I kind of diversified and went into acting after a lull in my career. Oh, yeah. Doof. Doof, doof. doof, doof. Well, no, no, well, you see, okay, that was 20 something years later. Okay, there right. you go. So, so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There are people, how old are you? How old do you think I am? Well, you're 16 to 24, so I would assume you're in that bracket. So I'm about 23. Oh, 18, well, there you go. All right, well, you're young. So, okay. So, the millennial one, are you from EastEnders? Exactly. So, you was born like 2003, 2004? Yeah. Okay. So, your generation would know me from EastEnders, really. Yeah. Um, and that was kind of what gave me my resurgence. But prior to that, I was doing many plays and stuff like that, trying to get myself to that level and then Hollyoaks now. So um, so yeah, my journey's been quite extensive. Well, that's 
speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so for the youth magazine, we do have a lot of young people who are very interested in the acting world. Yeah. Of course, you've already given your advice for what you think they should do mm -hmm. if they want to get into acting. Mm -hmm. I want you to give them what your hardest obstacle has been so far, or even in the whole of your journey that you're well, to come out on the other side you are now. Facing bankruptcy publicly. Okay. Uh, that was the toughest point because you're going to go, every person out there that's going to enter this business is going to face their tunnel of darkness, yeah. I'm, I'm going to term it. Yeah. Because you have to, because life has to throw that at you. These are these are the, the moments that condition you, like you, you might have an ambition to be whatever it may be. To get there, you have to go through a training. But we, we just assume it's all glitz and glamour, but the, you know, if you're a, like I do martial arts, to do, to do martial arts and to be good at it, you have to go through some horrible I parts of training where you, there's cuts and bruises and maybe you want to give up. But that's what conditions you to be great. It's the same in this industry. Um, so, as I say, that, that, that is the part that is probably um, was the toughest for me because when it was dark, it's, it's okay if you go through a bad spell and you and your immediates know. Yeah, privately. Yes. Privately, they're the ones that can console you, but as far as the public's concerned, you're fine. But when the public are also in on, the, on your demise as such, and to them, it's a joke. So they enjoy laughing at your fall from grace. Um, so every time you walk outside, I had to face that. Mm. Where I have to say I was very lucky is that there was no social media then. Yeah. I think social media now makes it worse for the 100%. new generation because if you know and then cancel culture as well there's so many things now that that can i mean imagine you're working hard for years you get to a point you make one mistake that maybe is not so severe yeah but, but because of the culture is somebody says yeah the end of the world end of the world and, and then they drags. cancel you but and then what happens is they cancel you you're out of the picture and then people move on yeah and then they even, years from now they go oh actually it wasn't even that serious yeah but by that time your career is over so I think those are the pitfalls that you guys have to face now. So I think you have to circumnavigate through this, this spectrum, right, with kiddie gloves. You have to be so careful. Mm. Whereas when I was coming up, you know, falling and cutting yourself was fine. It was kind of, it was part of it. But now you've got to be really, really careful. Wow. Thank you so much for your interview. It's right. definitely going to be one for the books, definitely. Oh no, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming down today and I hope you enjoy the show. We have the amazing host with us right now, guys, like the host of the show. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching.